Hey everyone, it's Ryzen. And Liz. Welcome back to Let's Play Transcendence Encore Mode. I'll just double go over my... Or look, you can pause if you want to look at my setup again. Went over it last time, but... There you go. Crescendo will be a little weaker now, but... It shouldn't matter. Which way are we headed, boss? Southeast. Gotta go back to the fork. Is this the only way? A couple more forks left. Try to use Beat in the Light for Skyfire, Fire Blast. Better. He can just use his own echoes, so. Mainly because it. Well, I pressed it! Well, it's supposed to trigger Serenade to attack. That's why I do that. I pressed the wrong button. Probably. It was circle. Is this the only way? Those dang changing buttons. <laughs> so yeah, Beat's free to use his echoes himself for this party, that's for sure. Rosendo doesn't really need them. And even if he did need them, it's not like I can really take advantage of them that much with Rosendo. He can't quite do it himself, but... Throwing a thorn, backing him up, boom. Simple enough. I hate when they do that follow-up attack. Usually they don't. Usually they only do the one attack. But they can do that stupid follow-up thing. I don't even care about the four-hit or three-hit version. Skyfire is where most of my damage is going to come from. Mainly because it's is it's infinite range, right? so it's easier to use. Skyfire is just there. I mean, um, Fire Blast is just there for the other long range move. Skyfire has a better AOE too. Actually, I don't think Fire Blast has an AOE at all. I'm pretty much guaranteed to do max damage with uh. I don't know if I'll be able to. Kill him now. Oh, I still did. Awesome. Plus, I can shoot around uh, the stupid things there. Pillars with uh, Skyfire. In fact, you don't even need to follow that up. That guy dies to uh, Skyfire. But for everybody else, you do. The pirates, you don't. Skyfire alone is all you need. They only have like 60,000 HP. For some weird reason. Damn, that was pretty good. Mm -hmm. uh, let's go over here. Oh, I seem to be stuck for some reason. Yeah, they're idiots. Haha. Uh -huh. the there you go. So just keep going. It should be a fork. Go northeast of the fork. In fact, we're gonna go northeast of the next two forks. You should have retreated. Oh crap, not in the way. But Skyfire should still kill him. Sir? 
Simple enough. Oh, I didn't kill him. I did it twice, too. Yeah, it can, it can kill him with two, but well, you have to get through. pretty much all criticals. This is the first fork. We're going northeast on this one. Excuse me while I shoot through Serenade. Yeah, I think this party's even better. Good march. Beats really good. I can set up march to be stronger, but it would require another burst mode accessory, which we don't have right now. And Serenade takes priority. She's infinitely better than pretty much everybody except for maybe Allegretto and the Silver Star. Yep. And even that is. Close. You think she's stronger than Frederick? Yeah, she's stronger than Frederick. Frederick's probably three or four. No, Frederick's probably number three, because of Phantom Pain. Yeah, I thought you said Northeast. I am, but I'm killing all the dudes. Oh, okay. So you won't cooperate. There wasn't there wasn't two guys up there, so one of them had to be down here. Pirates are super easy. Each one can uh, be killed by <laughs> three of us here. Pretty much each character. And that's good enough. Oh, that did kill him. Oh, yeah, he's only got 60,000 HP. Oh. Still wouldn't be able to max damage. They have 40,000 on regular mode, so. If I remember right, it's very little. It's an unusually small amount for an enemy at this point. But they do a lot of damage, though, so... You don't want them to attack you, that's for sure. Sometimes these melons seem to be able to block you from behind. Very strange. Oh, he's definitely dead. I think you got him, guys! Stop! He blocked one hit. Jesus. So absurd. Shall we go then? Yeah, sure, we'll go. Alright, let's edit out the rest of the battles. Get an idea, they're strong characters. <laughs> Alright, the end of those guys. This fork, hopefully. Nope. Okay. Another four guys. Another four battles. Another day. Another day. An eternal sonata. Oh god. Damn it. Those perfect melons also drop saints mirrors. Those are those uh, full revive to everybody. Pretty useful. Maybe I'd full say. heal too. I forget. Let me double check what they do, actually. They're really good, I know that. And they cost, like, very little. Yeah, recover HP and revives you. So, basically, once you get enough of them, they should be your only item. Oh, thank God, here's the fork. Okay, great. So, head northeast now at this fork. Should lead to the warp. Yay, it's the end of the floor. The next floor is that uh, idiot that sells you the soul shard for max money or whatever. I think it's this idiot. We can go talk to him. There's a chest behind him that's empty. I guess that's the soul shard, but he has it. Oh yeah, and the next floor is just that useless thing, but... We're not going to deal with that now. There's no enemies on the next floor, so...
Yeah, if you try to eat. Yeah, you gotta pay a lot of money. But it's negligible because later on the enemies give you like 40 million or something ridiculous. So it's pretty easy to get. Yeah, we could go through the maze floor. It only takes a couple minutes, but I don't feel like it. You'll get it without even trying, so. In fact, you might actually forget to even buy the thing on accident, but you can't complete the dungeon without it, so. Anyway, next time we'll head to B7. And B8, I guess. This is Ryzen. And Liz. Thanks for watching. Take care.